Hi everyone, welcome to Drew Tutorial. And in today's video, guys, I have a very fascinating and interesting AI tutorial for you. And it's from Vidnos. As you can see on the screen here, vidnos.com. This is Vidnos AI. And I'm going to show you how to use their video face swap. Yes, you get that right. A video face swap. Now, all you have to do, guys, just head over to vidnos.com and you'll find the link in the description of this video. And from the navigation bar here, you want to go to their free AI tools and you just want to click face swap here. Now, once you're at the face swap, you will see the photo face swap. And here on this channel, you can also find the photo face swap tutorial if you're interested to learn how this works. Now, our focus is on the video face swap, <laughs> right? And all you have to do is just simply click to toggle between the two which one you want so i'm going to just click on the video face swap now once you're here guys it's as easy as this you need to upload a video your base video and it has a maximum of 200 megabytes and here you can see that you need to upload a m4v mp4 mov or a webm file and you can drag it or you can simply upload it now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply drag a video that i have here it's a small intro of a video that I've already created and it's about eight seconds I believe now this is very important for the photo that you want to upload guys this is the target photo and this is the photo of the person that you'll use to replace your face now I want to show you something that it has to be high quality photo let's say a full photo full blown up photo of a face so that the AI can really understand what it is and i'm going to show you what's going to happen here i'm going to show you two photos so i'm going to simply choose a photo like this with kanye west and you realize this is what happens it's going to give me an error that i need high quality photo and guys if you have a look at the photo i would say nothing is really wrong with it i'm going to simply open it and you can see you would think that a photo of this size should be okay but it is simply not right and this is definitely a high quality photo let me just go ahead and just find more details here about the photo here you can see that the photo let me go to details here and you can see that the photo has a dimension of this now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you another photo and this is a much better photo of kanye west which is a much bigger photo i must say and let me go ahead and click on the properties here so that you can see the details of this photo now as you can see this is a much larger dimension of the photo a much better quality and this is a typical example a perfect example of what you'd like to use so what i'm going to do i'm going to drag this photo of kanye here and it's going to accept it without any issues now all you have to do once you have your video and your photo already selected just go ahead and click swap face now and the AI is going to take a moment to prepare and to generate the face swap of me looking like Kanye West. That's pretty crazy, guys. No, wait for it. Now, guys, once this is done, as you can see, you can either zoom in, you can share or you can download. I'm going to preview it, it here so that you can see what it looks like. Unless you're living under a cave, then you will know that you are currently living in the era where AI is booming right now unless you're living under a cave all right guys now to download this all you have to do is just simply click on the download button here and it will open up your dashboard of vidnos and you will be able to see now here is the video all you have to do is just simply click download here and also guys i have a second video which i was testing that i will also show you of me trying to look like will smith i'm gonna show you that as well no, guys, I want to tell you, I think the AI tool did a really good job with doing the face swap. You're not going to look exactly like the person that you put it. You're going to have some resemblance of yourself and you're also going to have a resemblance of the person you were targeting to be. So with that case, I don't want to say we're expecting too much of a massive, like a face cut off. Totally, your face will be cut off and you look just like Will Smith. I think it is done a realistic job a decent realistic job to make you look like or resemble the target photo if you get what i mean but there is one drawback that i've noticed and i will show you right now so let me go ahead and play the first video here unless you're living under a cave then you will know that you are currently living in the era where ai is booming right now and that video was me looking like will smith 
Now I'm going to play the next video showing you the video of me looking like Kanye West. Unless you're living under a cave, then you will know that you are currently living in the air. I'm going to pause this now guys and explain something to you. The drawback that I realized between the video is that you don't get the same high quality video of yourself as the original video. So you can realize that the video here of me looking like Kenya, it's a bit dull. But it's looking fine. The next drawback I want to say is that guys, the mouth movement of me speaking does not work at all. It's not in sync. And if you watch it closely, you will realize that it is not really sane. The hand gestures are the same, it's okay, but the mouth movement is not in sync with what I'm saying. And this is a drawback. And this is something that I think Vidnos has to improve to take this to the next level, guys. But I must say, all in all, it is really interesting. It's really amazing what it does to swap the face in the video. Let me go back and replay the video so that you can see it. And you can look at the mode movement very closely along with the speech to realize that it's not in sync. Have a look at this. Unless you're living under a cave, then you will know that you are currently living in the era where AI is booming right now. All right, so you got that, guys. You realize that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the original video so that you could see that everything is okay and I'm in sync. It's just that once it does the face swap, it does not really in sync with the mouth movement. Just look at the original video from myself. Unless you're living under a cave, then you will know that you are currently living in the era where AI is booming right now there you have it guys now guys i want to recommend vidnos for coming up with such an amazing tool it is a very good tool it's really amazing and i think it does a brilliant job with doing the face swap to make you resemble the target photo so that's very good but i think in order to take this to a whole new level they have to try to make the lip sync in sync after the face swap and to try to make the face quality after the swapping is done to give you a much higher quality in terms of looks but all in all i want to say this is a very useful tool a very amazing tool and you can use it to really make some really cool videos going forward now guys i really hope that you found some value within this video and if you do go ahead give this video a thumbs up and guys go ahead and try out this tool go ahead and try out this face open tool to see what you can make i think it's really funny what it has done and i'm sure you'll have fun using this ai tool with that said see you next time for another tutorial just like this one thank you very much